All right, this is a uh, stool top that I'm um, staining in Jacobine stain, one of the most popular stains I get requests for on my wood items. Um, I'm wiping up the excessive stain here. These are three uh, two by eight panels uh, boards that are joining it together, pocket hold on the bottom side. And I've um, got on the first two panels, I went ahead and put the stain on, then I'm wiping up the excessive stain. This is Jacob Bean from Minwax, old base. Um, get it all the excess up now then i go and put a one the first coat on the third panel there that the can is sitting on and uh, what i'm doing with this i'm using a two inch chip brush that i get from harbor freight they come packed 36 to a box for a little over 12 dollars uh 12 dollars and some change and um i find them easier to use they're disposable of course i use the chip brush because it doesn't it doesn't suck up as much stain and I can control the amount of stain I'm using on the boards with the chip brush, and also the chip brush will allow me to go down the, the go down the cracks of the board where they are joined together and soak it pretty good with stain. So stain will get in between those cracks. It should the wood ever start to part a little bit, but it never should. It shouldn't do that with the pocket hole screws. But I use the brush just in case because it's a lot easier to get it in the crack. Like I said, it's a lot easier for me to distribute it out with the brush as well and control the amount I'm using uh, with this chip brush here. So this is the only coat of Jacob Bean I'm putting on and I'll wipe this excess off here. Move to the next step, which will be the polyurethane. Um, like I said, this is a, a stool type bench that you put in the foyer to where you may sit down and put your shoes on. These are pretty little popular benches. Um, I usually sell them for about $65 a piece. But uh, this is uh, the polyurethane stain I'm using, uh, finish that I'm using. I'll use three coats, of, three or four coats of this. Uh, this is the first coat after the first coat dries i will sand it with a 120 grit sandpaper put another coat down and do the sandpaper again i do the sandpaper in between each uh layer because it gets the grit off this this polyurethane will raise a little bit of the grit up since it's just lightly sanding over it will take that out so after i put the third or fourth final coat on there i'll sand it one more time real lightly with the 120 grit and then it'll be ready to attach to the frame that goes underneath the little stool that I build separately and I pocket hold it to the frame. So this, uh, this is the final step or the first layer of the final step.